Hi, today we'll make this aluminum knotting tool. It's an everyday carry object that you can use as a tie down or for other rope handling tasks at home and out in the world. This project will teach you how to machine a part in multiple operations, flip a part, and reprobe using our built-in probing routines. We'll also be showing how to use a set of parallels in order to machine a full contour of the part. Let's briefly review the Fusion 360 file for this project. We'll break it down into four operations. In the first operation, we'll face down the stock on the top of our model, then run an adaptive clearing pass to rough out the general shape, and finally clean up the outer walls using a contour pass. In our second operation, we'll swap in our ball end mill and machine a 3D toolpath to create the filleted edge. In our third operation, we'll flip the part and face down the hat or leftover stock. And in our fourth operation, we'll again use a ball end mill to machine the fillet. Let's load the G-code file for the first operation in initial setup and select our tool. Measure our stock and then enter the material dimensions. Next, we'll load the stock into the machine. In order to machine around this piece of stock, however, we'll need to lift it up out of the right angle bracket. We'll be using three of these parallels in a somewhat unconventional way, but nevertheless effective. Place three of these parallels down to prop up the stock, roughly three eighths of an inch, and then two parallels in front of the stock to offset the toe clamp hardware. Now we have enough clearance to safely machine around the stock. We'll tighten down our toe clamps, back screws first, then the jaws, while pressing down on the stock, and install our quarter inch probe. Then we'll launch the automatic stock location tool to locate the stock in the machine. And with these values accepted, we're ready to install our first tool and begin the job. Here's facing, now adaptive, our contour pass. All right. Once the first operation is complete, we'll load the file for op two and insert our quarter inch ball end mill and run the next job. Because we're using the same work coordinate system, we don't need to reprobe for this job. Okay, fill it complete. Now comes the fun part. Remove the piece from the toe clamps. Brush off any chips on the parallels and insert the piece back in the machine with the through hole oriented on the left side. We'll put our quarter inch end mill back in the machine and we're ready for op three. That was fun. Now that we've machined all of the surfaces, we're ready for our last operation. This time, we set our work coordinate system in Fusion along the back left corner of the model because we have two flat surfaces that we can locate against. We can probe that location now using our single axis probing routine, or if you're a software subscriber, using our outer rectangular routine. And once complete, our preview should update to show this last 3D contour in the right orientation. Load our tool and we're ready for the home stretch. All right, look at that. Remove the part from the mill and enjoy this new EDC tool that you made. As always, happy milling and be sure to check out more projects at bantamtools.com.